Hello and welcome to my video uh, lecture on the use of the filter input function. So up until now, uh, to keep things simple, uh, in all the examples that I've used, I've, I've accessed the values from the super global uh, post and the super global uh, get arrays directly. Uh, technically, that's really um, not what's known as best practices um, because we don't really know what's coming out, uh, what the user's been entering into first name. And although we're using HTML special cares and HTML entities uh, in some cases to uh, check those values, it's usually best uh, not to access the post and the get arrays. Uh, and later on, when we talk about the, uh, the cookie, uh, the Super Bowl cookie array, uh, you really don't want to get uh, values out of these directly. Uh, what you want to do is you want to use uh, the filter input. Uh, so we could use the uh, uh, filter input function. Now, the filter input function uh, takes in a, uh, uh, a couple of um, variables, uh, parameters, arguments. Uh, one of them is uh, which um, array it's working with. So since for now, uh, in this example, we're using the post array, we would uh, put in uh, the, first, um, the first variable as input post, right? The first argument, I'm sorry, is the input post. So there's the input post, uh, and then we want to tell it uh, from the input post uh, what uh, element uh, we want to get the data from. So in this case, if we did uh, that, and we just changed uh, our call to the, the global array using the filter input, using input post and asking it for the value that's in first name, uh, this would uh, do a couple of things. It would basically work very similarly uh, to looking for the is set uh, to make sure that there um, is a valid value in there. Uh, the other thing, uh, again, protects us uh, from some of the uh, malicious code that could be entered. Um, so filter input is going to uh, use the input post and it's going to get our name. So let's uh, do that for uh, the second example as well. So we're going to do filter input. I'll open up a paren. Change that to input post. We'll get rid of that square bracket. And we'll get rid of that square bracket. And that's how you would use uh, the filter input. Uh, the other thing you can do, uh, depending on what you're looking for, is there's also a third argument that you can pass in uh, to the filter input. In this case, both of these values that we're getting are text values. Um, but you could also uh, enter in a third uh, parameter um, and as you can see we can filter validate uh, for boolean right so this does something a, a little bit more than what we've been doing before so um, the filter validate will make sure that this that the value that's in first name would be boolean which again in this case would be uh, silly uh, we could filter validate for email if uh, we were expecting the user to input an email address uh, into our text input uh, and again, the rest are, are fairly self-explanatory. We could uh, float, uh, we could check to make sure the user inputted a float value, inputted an int, uh, an int uh, value, uh, an IP address, a MAC address, uh, a regular expression, uh, which we'll get to in later chapters, or if we're expecting the, the user to enter a URL, we can validate that it's a valid URL. Um, None of these, of course, are, are going to be of any use to us uh, in this example because we're just picking up two strings. Uh, but that's really all it is. It doesn't change the functionality at all once we hit submit. Um, oop, I have to refresh this page. Uh, and then we pick Mike and Devlin and we submit. Right? It doesn't really change the functionality at all. Um, but it definitely makes uh, the application much safer. Uh, in a lot of instances, when you access it directly, uh, an IDE like NetBeans will actually uh, prompt you uh, a little bit. For instance, I think if we look at our display PHP, see these little warning messages. If you hover over these little warning messages, 
it tells you do not access the Super Global uh, dollar getaway directly. Use some filtering functions instead. And the best practices really would be uh, the filter input um, and uh, you know looking for the is set functions, etc. Uh, so that is uh, the use of the filter input function uh, in PHP.